Hi, my name is Chase Broadnets. I will show you how to use ARP, PING, Tracer, and IP config. ARP, also known as Address Resolution Protocol. ARP is an attack technique used to attack an Ethernet network which may allow an attacker to read or modify. The principle of ARP spoofing is to send a fake message to an ARP message to an ARP message to the Ethernet network. How to use ARP? First you open up command prompt. Then type ARP in command prompt. Then type ARP in command prompt. After that the ARP will clear out any ARP cache. Ping is a computer network tool used to test whether a host is reachable across an internet protocol. It also takes trips for packets sent from local hosts to your computer. How does Ping work? And we, I'm about to show you how to do this. First you open up command prompt once again. Then type in Ping then the URL or website. little break from PowerPoint and we're going to show you how to use command port. Okay, I'm going to do ping and we're going to do Google. www.google.com And what you see is pinging the site. When I did this early, I didn't had had none. But once I know how to do it, I learn how to do it. And what you see here is it sent four packets, and it came back with four receive. You see right here, reply from sixty seven dot one four two, and and that's how many bytes it sent, and that's how much it came back. Right, here. It's still right. okay. Go leave that up for now. Let's go back to the PowerPoint to talk about Tracer. Tracer is a computer network tool used to show the route taken by packets across an IP network. What does Tracer do? Tracer checks how many hops it takes for your computer to contact another computer. For example, if I was in command prompt and type tracer and then a website, it would show how many hops it would take for my computer to contact another computer. I'm about to show you a quick demonstration for that. All you have to do is type in tracer and then let's type in the website we all familiar with. Let's try Facebook. And what you see, got a maximum of 30 hops. And right now it's still tracing the signal. And it's still going. And it timed out on the fourth try. Okay, you got your host right here. Host 10453157064 direct. Look like it's a direct query dot com. And you get San Joe's. These are the people that connect to Facebook. And you might see a whole lot. <laughs> and trust complete. All them people that contacted Facebook earlier. There you go. Well, leave that open. Go back to PowerPoint. And hit last but not least is IP config, also known as Internet Protocol Configuration. 
IP config is an application that displays all current TCP IP network configuration values and the domain name system. To use IP config, all you have to do is type in the command prompt and it will show you your IP address. We will break from PowerPoint and we'll go back to command prompt. And we're going to type IP config. And if I scroll up, you will see your default gateway 192.168.1.1, your subnet mask 255.255.255.0, and here will be your IP address, IPv4 address, which is this is mine, 192, 168, 1, and 3. And if you do it at school, you would get like 192.152 or 0 0.1, something like that. And this concludes another Chase Bartnett's presentation. Have a blessed day.